here at the Elephant at the third edition of the NBO Musical Theater Initiative Workshop uh, that was organized by Eric Wanaina, Sheba Hurst, and Roberta Levitao. Mm -hmm. And we have here Fred Carl from the Tisch, NYU, New York University Tisch Performing Arts. The School of the Arts. School of the Arts. Yeah. And Fred, would you please tell us what you're doing here? Yeah, uh, well, this is the second time I'm here, and um, I was invited to come in June with Deborah Bavort, and again to come now with Roberta to help kind of mentor a musical theater initiative with Kenyan writers who are all writing new original pieces of uh, musical, musical theater. And a huge diversity of kinds of pieces, kinds of storytelling, kinds of music, and it's uh, ridiculously exciting. Now, how long have you been here? I've been here, it will be on Saturday, two weeks. Wow. And we go back on Saturday. So. Now, you talk about writers, but musical theater is obviously musical. Mm -hmm. So how do you, I think you have something to do with integrating. What is, or well, yeah. collaborating. Or yeah, yeah, when I say writers, I mean composers and people, I mean people who create, write, whatever music and people who create, write, whatever words. And what is the combination there? Uh, musical theater is such a collaborative art form that part of the trick is the kind of to get deep into the collaborative process. And that's what we're seeing here in these two weeks. We've arranged for all their 11 teams working on 11 new pieces from two people teams to I think eight people teams. Oh. Um, and they came up with ideas in June when we were here last. Uh -huh. And now they've sort of gotten into the weeds, the kind of the necessary weeds that you have to get into uh -huh. about collaborating and uh -huh. figuring out, oh, how do you maximize, how do you get more than one mind and more than one set of creative skills to talk to each other, to understand where each other is coming from, and then to together create a piece and to move forward on a piece and to move forward on issues about character and what is this thing about. Uh, for, those ish for those pieces that are really heavily story-based, what is the story? Um, for the pieces, because not every piece is heavily story-based. Mm -hmm. Some are more the thematically based. Some are kind of an exploration of character. That's why it's 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 like it's crazy exciting. Now, how are how do you what do you feel about the Kenyan artists? The artists who are here are very very exciting. I mean, they consistently they all kind of they 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 when we met them, these are artists who are. Shoot, they, they have a voice. They have a voice. Uh -huh. In some cases, that voice is expanding, uh -huh. but they have a voice and they have things to say. And a lot of the things that they have to say are directly about their experience and understanding and hopes for Kenya. And that's very exciting. Now, you are from New York. I am. We sort of look up to New York, for better or worse. And we think there's a lot of incredible talent that, you know, everybody runs to New York, mm. especially if they want to do theater or London. Um, but how do you compare? I mean, you know, a lot of people wouldn't imagine that Nairobi would be a place that would interest you. Well, I'm interested, I mean, number one, I'm interested in... How do, I was thinking about this the other night. So I saw this movie that's out now, this brand new movie. I think it's come here because some people in the workshop have seen it called Spider-Man yeah, yeah. Uh, Into the Spider-Verse. It's an yes, animated yes. film. Uh -huh. It's about a mixed race, uh, dark skin, a black Puerto Rican uh, kid in the Bronx in New York. Is it the Bronx? No, Brooklyn in New York. Uh -huh. And he becomes, he gets bitten by a spider, he becomes Spider-Man, other spider people from different universes come. Uh -huh. But there's a line at the end of the film, and uh -huh. he says, um, when he finally kind of accepts all these abilities he has, and he says, it's not about, he said, he said nobody owns the mask, it's all about who's wearing the mask. <laughs> and I thought that that was an apt way to think to kind of uh, explain my kind of feeling about musical theater, that musical theater is a form that 
people all over the world are familiar with. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that familiarity comes from sitting in a theater. Sometimes that familiarity comes from sitting in church or a religious service. Sometimes it comes from being in a club. Uh, sometimes it comes from dealing with music videos. I mean, I think we're all... I think we're all used to storytelling where music is an essential part. Mm -hmm. And for me, one of the things that I'm most excited to do is to help people sort of figure out how to do what they do and call that musical theater. Yeah, there's Broadway musicals. That's one kind of musical theater, but there are many others. Mm -hmm. And that, I think, is super exciting. So when I got the invitation to come here, mm -hmm. I jumped at the chance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then since I've been here, I knew nothing about Nairobi. Mm -hmm. But immediately in June, I could see the, what a what a kind of cutting-edge artistic scene there is here. Mm -hmm. uh, the variety of people and the variety of kind of the level of talent and the variety of of places that this group of people can go is kind of staggering. It's staggering. So. Fred, thank you so much. Okay, I sure really I appreciate it.